Okay. Hi again. So just for the record, I'm just like totally a pro now. <laughs> I had a, a, another goal today to actually submerge myself with the Oculus Rift into another demo, like actually download a demo and then that technically doesn't have Oculus Rift, but then import Oculus Rift, so I don't have to really create the game. I could just use, some, use somebody else's game, the player, and then just delete their player and insert my Oculus Rift plugin. And I was able to do it, and it's great, and I'm excited. And so now I can just, instead of having to build a game from scratch, I can build something on top of some, something else, which saves me a whole lot of time for my project. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> if I want to develop it, which I still probably might, um, who knows? Um, I already got the skills. So, let's <laughs> record this for you guys. Click. Um, and then, I'll, of course, I'll show like a time lapse of how I did it. So, I'm using the third person control free game that I downloaded from the Asset Store on Unity 3D. Um, just inserted that. drag and drop the um, Oculus Rift plugin um, as an asset. And then we deleted their character um, animation. And then that does the player controls and everything like that. And then inserted mines. Yeah, then I had to, of course, go back to the scripts and set it up for uh, and rewrite a couple of them for Unity 5.1. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. So then I'll just go ahead and build the game. And then I can just open it up. In my folder and it was doing this weird thing where it's kind of only showing on the quarter side of it so what I'm going to do instead is window it and then play so that way um, if I want to escape without having to press command play I could do that oh and I could just maximize it from here as well that's what's up I'm just going to maximize that. And put this on. Uh, nice. And play it with me. So I can turn around and see everything. Open up. So then, and then I can come underneath my chair and see the whole set. Um, now. I have to still look at the keyboard for my controls to walk around, which is W A S D. So if I go forward, W, I'm turning it off. A, so it's F for I, Air, go back. Anyways, it's hard to do this when you can't see the keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, I look around the room. And of course, we, in the last video, I learned how to, um, you saw me be able to enter images and other shapes inside it, so if I wanted to add more things to this, I could, and build on top of this. Um, let's see if I can go up the stairs. If I turn it around. Oh, I can go up the stairs. Cool. Yes. Wait, can I jump? So I'd have to um, maybe like ship or something. This is a UK keyboard, so I wonder if that also makes a difference. Shift. Remember space is jump. But anyways, there's a way to see what the different controls are, but it's not the point. For now, I can't go past like this thing. No, wait, where can I make it? Alright, well, try. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining me again today. <laughs>